I, I don't want Anthony any more upset than he already is. OK, but this isn't about blame. Well, I think it is. And more importantly, it's about being a responsible mum and dad. Can't you just keep the noise down the whole street can hear you? Oh, who cares? They've seen us fighting out there. Your mum's still blaming me for all that fighting lark that went on. Oh, come on, mum. Oh, stick together, boys. Dai, we didn't start any of this. All we wanted was for Anthony to be able to go to school in peace. And because of your take-them-on macho approach, he's up there now saying he doesn't want to live anymore. Look, he had to do something. He hit a girl with an iron bar. Does that sound like a sensible thing to do? OK, so he stepped over the line. Oh, but that doesn't matter to you two, cos you're just happy that it was being a man. I didn't tell him to do any of that. I just said that he should stand up for himself. Right, and exactly what does that mean? You know what it means. Everyone does. Do they? Yeah, if someone hits you, you hit them back. Even if it's a girl or a woman? If it's a woman, you stop them hitting you. And what if they don't hit you, but they bully you or nag you? Well, then you do something else, don't you? Like what? Marry them. Don't be sarcastic. Neither of you have thought through what can happen when you give out these pearls of wisdom about being a man to our Anthony. So is it any wonder he took a flame and iron bar to a girl? What are you doing today? I want to see Christy Murray. Have a word. Daddy for the day? Not sure. Well, don't be doing anything too risky without speaking to me first. And what if I get bored, eh? I'll be a good boy and you might get a surprise. <laughs> aye, aye. Spring in the air, is it? <laughs> is that a shop on this gym? Sort of. Good, cos we need washing powder. Yes, washing powder. Washing powder! Is there anything Tim can do for you today? Like what? To know. Bit of DIY around the house or something. Hey, Em. I'm all right, huh? Oh, you could get that bath shifted from the front. Well, I need a hand with that. Behave yourself, will you? Fit lad like you, you can manage that. Well, can't you help? I'm off out. Where? Sort me future out. See ya. <laughs> I didn't expect him to do what he did, but I've already spoken to him. And I'll make sure he gets the message that he can't do anything like that again. Steve? He's my little brother. I don't care who it's him, I'll be backing him up. Have you listened to one word I've said about violence? Sometimes it's the only thing people understand. Yeah. Even your Bible goes on about an eye for an eye. I mean, God must have given us a temper for some reason. Will you still be saying all that if Imelda Clough goes to the police and Anthony gets charged? Will I be going to jail? Oh, love. I thought you were in your room. They'll get the police, won't they? Of course not. I'm sorry I've caused all this trouble. Well, you did the right thing, mate. She won't touch it again. So you reckon it's all over, do you? I didn't want it to turn out like this. None of this is your fault, love. Everybody's arguing about me and you're all miserable. No, we're just shocked that we didn't get straight in there and sort out these cloughs earlier on. I'm not even going to reply to that. Oh, well, I'll go and fix my car, then. You better speak to him, because he's definitely not got the message. Yeah. All right. See you later. Mother's going to kill me when I get back to school, isn't she? Do you think for one moment I'm going to let that happen? Why, what can you do? What would you like me to do? So did you and Richard come to an agreement? Let's just say it was open and frank. Are you back together? No way. Since he's taken up with that young tart, he's really aged. She's killing him. So what are you going to do? Wait till he sorts out a settlement. How long will that be? I don't know. But I'll get a good few bob out of them, though. And in the meantime? Well, if it's OK with you two, we'll stick it out here for a bit longer. I'm not being funny like Sammy, but there's rent. Oh, don't worry. I'll go to the bank later and get some money out for keep. And you'll be glad to know I'm getting a job. Good idea. I don't suppose there's any vacancies at your place, is there? Uh, no. No, not at the moment. Uh, I better get back down there. See you later. Yeah, see you later. Anything else you want to tell me? I'll tell you what, I could do with getting fit again. Didn't half pick out over the weekend. Sammy, I'm in the middle of choosing Clint's headstone with his mum. I don't even sleep properly thinking about him. And now I've got you to worry about, which is fine because you're family, but you're not giving me the full story. I am. You've left a life of luxury to squeeze into this place because your husband's got a younger model. Yeah. I worked for a solicitor. I know you and Louise can both stay in the marital home, so something else is going on. There's a problem with the marriage certificate. Like? 
Well, Richard says that our romantic wedding in the South Sea Island isn't valid. Well, so here I am, squatting in my sister's flat. He doesn't want me. Look, I know my mum says fighting isn't the answer, but well, you have to be prepared to take all the pain he can give you and still be able to smack them back. That's what frightens them. How do you mean? Well, if someone gives you the hardest punch and you can come back at them and hit them even harder, they back off, always. But was it wrong to hit a girl? Melda Clough isn't a girl. That's more and more like her downtown in the pubs and clubs. Girls who want to fight. And I say, if they want to behave like lads, then treat them like it. Hey, Steve, can you give us a touch with this? Yeah. Where's it going? Down the side. Oh, I believe we missed the kick-off yesterday. Who told you? Ray. Hey, I was well impressed with him, you know. Got stuck in, no questions asked. We should have been there. We didn't need you. So what was it all over in here? Well, when our kid was getting bullied. <laughs> oh, yeah, by that girl. Oh! <laughs> uh, Harold Oaks, please. It's just straight through on your left. Hi, right, kid. Listen, uh, any chance of seeing the dark? And what's wrong with us nurses? <laughs> no, it's about my medication. You know it's a walking centre here, Jimmy. You'll have to see a GP about that. <sighs> oh, Dr. Parr. Hi. Morning, <laughs> Mr. Corkill. Listen, uh, any chance of having a chat with you about my medication? Well, if you come for the surgery, yes, of course. No, 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 I've been there and they've got no appointments till next week. Well, if it's just a repeat prescription you're after, you can pick that up later tonight if you want it. No, I want to chat about my lithium. Now, you know we don't cater for chats about lithium here. I do that at the practice. However, when we move the medical centre here, I will welcome you with open arms. How's that? Uh, yeah, but, uh, it's urgent. So, I suggest you make an appointment at the surgery or see your community psychiatric nurse. You know the procedure. Excuse me. Hey, yeah, Mike just got off to sleep. Oh, it's all right. We'll keep the noise down. Come on. Doesn't he go to bed? Sometimes, but... <gasps> Harry! Don't be jumping on your uncle, Mike. What's going on? Sorry about that. <sighs> you should sleep upstairs. I can't bear to be crying all the time. She's got a bit of a cold, which we think she caught off Emma. Sorry. So what was it? What? Well, you haven't come around here to watch me kipping, have you? I've come to ask you a favour. Well, go on then, shoot. Could you keep an eye on the house for a week? What's happening? Well, Max at Mr. Moonlight and Roses has only gone and booked us a surprise holiday, skiing. <laughs> Lucky you. You sure Jackie will be OK about this? You need diverting. I know, but she might ask me to leave. We're back friends again, and I'll do any explaining. That's not making you feel better about yourself. Will we be able to swim, Mum? Yeah, of course we can. Can I go to the toilet? Yeah, it's just through there. I feel and look terrible. No wonder he got rid of me. Don't talk like that. You don't take his words in any of this marriage certificate stuff. Get a solicitor on the case. Oh, maybe he's one of the trainers. He's the boss. Oh, he can boss me around any day. Behave. Hiya. Brought a friend. This is Sammy, my sister. Older. But I'm wearing well. So, what can I do for you? And um, this new training programme. Can I join? Are you sure you need it? Well, I'll need an expert to judge. <laughs> I'll get one. Can't you, Jimmy? <laughs> you can either just do that programme, or it might work out more economical for you to become a full member. Then you get full use of all the facilities. Does that include personal training? <laughs> That's extra. What about a discount for a daughter? I'll just dip into the office and fetch a price list of conditions. It won't be a minute. Don't forget to get prices on personal service. I think he's married. He's a man, so he's fair game for me. Give it a rest, Sammy. You've just walked out of a marriage. <sighs> so cold. But I can't live in the past. No, I need to get on with things. And maybe a new man and a new image is just what I need to get right back up there. This is the last time I'll see you under such circumstances. Now, what is it? Well, Doc, since I've been on this lithium, I get a bit confused about what my real feelings are. I don't follow. Well, say I watch something like Des O'Connor. 
Well, I don't know if he's really funny or if it's the tablets making me think he's funny. Can you, uh, can you get to the point, please? I've got four tablets left. Four tablets. Right, OK. Uh, hang on. The thing is, when they run out, I want to try self-management of my manic depression so I can take the responsibility. <laughs> yeah, well, the uh, responsibility isn't simply yours. I know that, but... Please don't interrupt me. The responsibility is partly mine, your psychiatrist, your CPNs, your families, and yours. Ah, you see, you're doing exactly what they said you would do. Putting me at the bottom of the list. Whereas I want to put myself at the top of the chain of responsibility in charge of me. Who are the they that are telling all this? Oh, I've been reading some stuff about self-management and uh, taking control of your condition on the net. The net? Yeah, some good stuff on there. <laughs> Mr Corkill, the net knows absolutely nothing about you personally, but I and the others in the primary health care team do, so... I want to control my own drugs. I want the power back with me. And I really don't think you should do that. Just over 12 months ago, you were standing on a roof ready to throw yourself off. You were sectioned and spent a considerable amount of time as an inpatient. Now, you start messing around with your drugs dosages and you could cause yourself or others a great deal of harm. But... Now, I happen to believe in care in the community and that means medical intervention whenever necessary, not some airy-fairy scheme you might be picking up off the internet. But they make sense. Mr Corker, you are my patient. And I don't intend to let you slip through the system and end up a casualty or some headline in a local newspaper. Do you understand me? Do you understand? Yeah. All right. So if you'd like to take this prescription for lithium, and when you leave here, go directly to the pharmacy, and please take your medication. Do you hear? Um, I'll have to check for you. Hold the line, please. Thanks. Jimmy, how would you get on? Mm. Oh, so you got what you wanted. Tom Lister, if you'd like to go through. Uh, yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. That is the five over. Hi, I'm shattered. You should try the spinning classes. They'll get you really fit. Mm, probably more knackered. You open for staff again? Yeah, I got rid of the receptionist, and the instructor's taking a year out travelling. You shouldn't have any problems getting a receptionist, should you? I could spot a good instructor a mile away. But funnily enough, good receptionists are harder to come by. Well, you should have asked Sam Evans. If you have her, she'll tell you what to look for. I know exactly what I'm looking for. Please yourself. For our Sammy, has been in the hotel and leisure industry for years. I've had lots of experience hiding up by then. Enjoy that. Yeah, I feel like I've lost a stone already. Are you coming up for a sandwich? Yeah, nice tuna mayo. Oh, better hold the mayo, someone's listening. <laughs> oh, um. Sammy. Sorry. Could I have a word, please? Yeah, sure. Um, we'll see you upstairs in a minute. I believe you did some hiring and firing in the leisure business. Um, that was one of my many responsibilities, yeah. I'm looking for a receptionist. Can you recommend anyone? For this place? Yeah, full time. Um, well, I've got all the qualities you'd be looking for. But you're a manager. I need a job at the minute, and this place is right on my doorstep. You seriously want an interview? And believe it or not, it's got one of those hot tubs outside the cabin. You know, we can sit and just relax and there's all snow around you. <laughs> Sounds brilliant. It is. In fact, I'll tell you what. What? Why don't you two get a flight out and join us? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, it could be a family thing. I mean, the cabin's all booked and paid for, so you don't have to get your flights. Da. Why not? Cos... Well, I've got to go and see my dad, haven't I? He sent a VO through. Yeah, fair dues. Yeah, and don't forget I've lost my job. Oh, yeah, sorry. Or maybe another time, eh? Anyway, how was my dad? He was all right, thanks. I'm starting to feel a bit guilty about him, you know. Why? Well, let's go and skiing and he's stuck away in prison. Oh, there's nothing you can do about that, though, sis, is there? And he's going to be made up that you're getting off for a little break. Do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll drop him a line explaining. Right, come on, Harry. Thanks for his bussy. I'm sorry he didn't eat it all. OK. Give my love to me dad, won't you? Yeah, we'll do. Send him a postcard. Um, look, about the cabin and that. I'm sorry, I, I should have realised you wouldn't be able to make it. Oh, don't worry about it, sis. You go off and have a good time, mate. Yeah, we'll be all right. See you later, then. Go on.
I thought you wanted to see me put this fan belt on. No. What's up with your gob? I heard you and Tim talking about me. You still think I'm a sissy, don't you? No, they don't. Yes, they do. You weren't there. Everything I've said to Tim, I've said to you. Just don't be making out like I'm going behind your back. I'm on your side here. He is, you know, Aunt. And even though I'm in the sixth floor manix, I'm still going to be looking out for you. Don't bother, there's no need. Why? Because I'm not going in, that's why. Of course you are. My mum and dad have sorted it. Well, it's all changed. Mum said I don't have to go in, no matter what anyone says to me. Well, did you see him move the bath? So. They wind you up, don't they? Eh? Thinking they can tell you what to do. Who? The authorities! What right have they got? Why, what's up? Hey, haven't you ever had that? The feeling that you've learned something about yourself, right? And it's going to push you on into the next phase of your life. Yeah. I thought of those the other day. Right, so what are you going to do about it? Change. Yeah! So if it's happened to me, I should change as well, shouldn't I? Yeah. Brilliant! I knew someone would be on my side. You're early. Oh, I've left Linda in charge. I'm nearly closed the place. Four customers all day. Everyone's probably skinned after Christmas. No one else is. Steve's taking her around for a test drive in that car he's been working on. And I think I've spoken out of turn. About what? How come you told her, Auntie, that? What? I'm sorry, Mum, it just slipped out. We're supposed to make decisions between us in this house. What are you talking about? You, telling our Auntie he doesn't have to go back to school. He doesn't. You heard what Mrs Plummer said. We can't solve anything unless he's in school and we'll have the education on our backs. While the Clough girl is in school, he's not going. He's got to go. I've promised him. Then unmake your promise. I can't. He's going. There's nothing ready. He's not mentally prepared. His uniform. I'll do his uniform, I'll get him mentally prepared and I'll take him to school. And it's no use you arguing with me because that's what's going to happen. Are the school passes included? No, but Max has done a deal with the crash and the kids ski school for Harry, so... Yeah? Start me young, right, Biz? Right. Well, I've done the VAT checks there in the safe and I've done with Sheila's P45. Great. And I'll put the job interviews back and turn you home. Well, I only need to be here for the instructor's one, so you can do the receptionist post. OK. Well, I've had four applications and one of them looks really promising. Well, don't forget, indecision is the mother of failure. So if they're good, snap them up. Are you sure? So, I'm going on my holidays. I'm leaving this business in your capable hands. I'll see you later. You've just missed Jackie. Oh, have I still? She's a friend, so if I get this job, I'll be the first face she sees when she gets back. There you go, babe. Tom, have you seen Christy today? No, I just missed him. But I'll catch up with him. He's got info that I need. <laughs> Afternoon, campus. I'm glad I've caught you two together. Another rent rise? No, don't be like that. I know things are a bit hard. Now the bar's closed, but that's by the by. Now, listen, I've uh, been thinking about stuff and I've decided to come off the medication. I thought you needed it. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, but the doctors know they're talking about, don't they, Jim? No, not always. Not always. And if you think about it, we're all individuals, aren't we? Right? But they prescribe the same drugs in the same dosage. And the side effects, they just tell you to get on with it. Well, have you had any side effects yet? No. Well, yes, dry mouth and, you know, other things. But the main thing is, I haven't got... A real grip on my feelings. The drugs have. So I'm packing them in. Sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah, I'll buy that. Nice one. I know you'd be behind me on this, you two. So, the thing is, I have drawn up a scheme. A little scheme of me emotions. You know, things that might happen to me. Such as? Well, it could go either way. I could get depressed or manic. Now, if I get depressed, say, after about three weeks, I might feel angry. I mean, there's not going to be any big kick-offs, you know what I mean? But bear with me on it. Now, what else? Yeah, some of me thinking might become a bit unfocused, hmm? Uh, loss of libido. Doesn't affect you two, that. Now, the thing is, if I go the other way, right, and end up in a manic phase... What's that? 
Well, that's like uh, a big high, you know, talk loads, big plans, dead happy. Yeah. Well, if I end up that way, I could get promiscuous. Yeah. So lock up your daughters. <laughs> now, the thing is, because I'm going to stop these drugs dead quick, yeah? You're going to be taking, aren't you? Exactly. And what I'm planning is locking myself in there. Locking yourself in? Yeah. And I don't want you to let me out. Are you serious? Sure am. Hang on a sec. This isn't going to be like the American werewolf in London, is it? Um, no. Well, he was dead violent. No, it's not going to be like that. I mean, it'll be hard for me, but I'm determined to get off these drugs and control my life. So whatever you do, don't open that door! And we'll lick this thing together! I should have told you before. There's been a change of plan. Have it your own way. But if anything happens to Anthony, I'm holding you responsible. This place was going to be my big chance to prove myself, and now look at it. Locked. No stock. And only empty barrels. Well, I'll call you later. I can enjoy scaring someone like that. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. I'm not proud of it. No, what do you want? A word with Al Capone, yeah. Brookside is back next Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Next on 4, comedy tonight. A chance for TV glory and an escape from Craggy Island for Father Ted. Thank you.